Hi everyone, and I welcome you to what is hopefully going to be a series of conversations that I will have with all of you at home uh, at Notre Dame once a month and to share with you our hope and dream here at Notre Dame of Mount Carmel, an amazing parish doing the work of Jesus Christ in the world today. So I'm very happy to be with you at least once a month uh, sharing with you good news. Well, it's springtime. You know, last week when spring came, I was over at the rectory and it seemed like the birds knew exactly when spring was beginning, when that sun was crossing over the equator. They were outside my door and window chirping and singing so beautifully. I had a great welcome into the life of spring. And spring is also a time when we experience Easter, which is all about new life as well. It's about the new life we have in Jesus Christ. So I am here to share with you today what that new life might mean for us at Notre Dame of Mount Carmel. It's about rolling back the stone. The ladies that came, the women that came to encounter Christ to find him and search for him, they found that the stone had already been rolled back and the tomb was empty. Christ had conquered sin and death and he was now alive, mysteriously so. And so we are rolling back, I guess, a stone, we could say, a stone that has been large and heavy and dark, the stone of 2020 and COVID-19. We would like to roll back that stone in our lives and have 2021 bring to us new life and a new hope in Jesus Christ. We're on a path of renewal at Notre Dame of Mount Carmel, uh, and you might ask, well, why? Well, I'll give you two good reasons why we are on renewal. For every one person that seeks to join our Catholic community today, six to seven people are leaving. That indeed, in my heart, is a sadness, but also a great opportunity, and rises up a desire in me to turn that right around. But for every one that joins us, six to seven are leaving. And also we have this new term that we call nuns. Now it's not the N-U-N-S, it is the N-O-E-S. That stands for when people do a survey, they tick off none of the above. They have no affiliation with any religion at all. And we have some 59 million Americans who have chosen to disaffiliate from the life of the church. So you might ask then, why are we on renewal? There are just two good reasons. But the most fundamental reason is that we are following the call of Jesus Christ, the command of Jesus Christ, to go and tell the good news to the whole world. So we are on renewal. And I think it's so important for all of us together to do this, not just Patty O'Donovan, not just Alex, Father Alex and other people, leaders here, all of us together have this great call and this great challenge to renew the world in which we live and to renew ourselves so we can encounter the risen Lord in our midst. Seizing the moment. I, I, I think it's so important for us to seize this moment of 2021, rolling back the stone of 2020 and rolling back the stone of COVID-19 and entering into a new hope and seize the moment. Back in the 60s, can you imagine, a record company turned down the Beatles who were looking for to produce a new record and they turned them down. What a mistake. And I don't think we need to make such a mistake. We need to seize this moment. And I believe we are seizing it uh, in the way we are renewing our church here at Notre Dame. It's about transforming people. It's not just about getting numbers in. It's about transforming people's lives. And we are going about that uh, by rolling back the stone, letting the light of Christ into our hearts, and then reflecting that light out into the world. We're on mission to tell good news because Jesus is risen from the dead. And here's how I think we are doing it. We're doing it in a very special way. Uh, Mimicking, I think, what Jesus did at the Last Supper. He washed people's feet. He impacted people's lives. And he has asked us to do similar ministry. So, instead of just washing people's feet literally, we at Notre Dame, just in this year 
past have lifted up a most wonderful ministry and it's called the Food Rescue Ministry. And this is our way of washing the feet of our disciples. We do this in such a wonderful way. Hundreds and hundreds of people are being impacted by the rollout of the Food Rescue Ministry. We also have it in a family faith formation. We've made a very significant change in the way we approach family faith formation. We are committed, we believe in, the role that parents have in the life of their children. We also have a wonderful ministry called Alpha that reaches out to people who may be on the peripheries, who may have many questions about Jesus, and they're invited. And I believe currently we have nearly 70 people online virtually gathering and sharing their life story and sharing in the life story of Jesus Christ. This is renewal. This is living under the stone or beside the stone that was rolled back. We also have uh, grief counseling that happens in our parish. Divorced and separated people can meet and find life. And of course, we have the many, many discipleship groups that feed people's need. So as you are imagining, we are on a path of renewal. We're on a path of great hope. And I want all of us to be together. I want you at home, engaged, involved in, and finding great life in the renewal that we are about to happen here at Notre Dame of Mount Carmel. These are days that can be very challenging for us uh, coming out of COVID. These are very challenging days for us as we try to, to live the life of Jesus Christ, but they're also days of great grace, great opportunity. And with Father Alex and I, and with all the, the staff leaders and the ministry leads, I believe we have a new day dawning in front of us. And we're going to flip, I believe this, we're going to flip around. For every one that joins us, seven are leaving. We're going to have seven joining and maybe no one leaving. So let us get together. Please join us in this wonderful opportunity to do what Jesus wants us to do, is to tell good news to the whole world. So together, let us all roll back the stone and let the light of Jesus Christ in. Bless you all. Continued blessings for a joyful Easter time. Peace.